guys, welcome back. Um, if you guys didn't watch my um, new video of the gecko, um, then I'm pretty sure, guys, I think you should. But, quick update though. Um, sorry about my hair, but quick update. Um, so, Gex is doing completely fine. I just had to switch up his habitat a tiny bit um, because every week I like to switch it up just so he doesn't feel like stressed out and like it's just in the same boring habitat. But I go by school riding, okay? Um, just over there in the streets and everything. And then I stumble across these white looking eggs. And now they are eggs. And it actually happened today, that's why I'm filming this. And then I thought maybe there was only one egg because I'm because the gecko is normally laid two to I think four eggs or something like that. I don't know. And the research will just go right over here. Um this is for this is like house geckos and garden geckos, so the information goes right over there. Um if you guys want to. But I just thought I have baby crickets, which I do feed geeks, and they are small enough, like easily small enough for a baby gecko to eat. I have the setup to, and the geckos can live together. If one's male, one's female, they can make eggs. So I just thought maybe I can give this a shot. Um, because here, now it's winter, it's quite cold. So I wouldn't really imagine them laying eggs and start reproducing already. But I guess they are. Um, but here's the egg. It's only one egg, but I'm going to show you guys right now. I thought maybe I can give this a shot, guys. So that I'm, I'm busy just like, busy googling and the different things and how to care for... A gecko and a baby gecko and everything when they hatch. Um, now it has to be below seventeen. I think um, I don't know, but I just thought it has to apparently it has to be below seventeen degrees or some of that, um, um, just so that it's like the right temperature for them. Um, but I'm really not that sure. I do have like a measuring thing over here, which is up to fifty degrees, which is not really necessary because we never ever get up to fifty degrees. The highest we've ever gotten was fourteen. That's about it. Um, but but it only happens like very rarely. I'm literally getting notifications while I'm doing. Stop, please. Okay. But maybe I said, maybe I can give this a shot, you know? So I'm just going to see, maybe, I can't really fit this in here. But the reason why I'm using this is because it has holes in the top. And maybe when, if it does ever hatch, then it, it has like a bit of air, I guess. Um, and also just circulates, circulates the temperature. Stop giving me messages. <laughs> okay. But yeah, um, I just decided maybe to give this a shot. So this is just for now so that I have it here. But I'm, I'm thinking maybe of just like making it a tiny bit more better for the gecko. I mean, it doesn't really need much because after like a few, maybe like a week or some of it, after I'm done feeding it, then um, I can give it, um, I can put it into Gex's enclosure also. And then they can like roam around together and then they actually can play together, I guess. Um, so yeah, um, I was deciding maybe what if I just put it in there, but then I thought, what if it eats the gecko, you know, baby gecko? Because I think they tend to. So, yeah, but um, that is what I wanted to tell you guys. Um, this is quite a short video, but I'm going to quickly do the enclosure. Um, I'm probably going to do a time lapse of it, and yeah, but also the intro. <laughs> Sorry. Um, welcome to the channel. If you're not, if you are new, please like, subscribe, comment section down below. I subscribed, and make sure you hit the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Um, but I don't even know why I did this. But anyway, transitions maybe. No, I'm just joking. But anyway, guys, um, yeah, let me, uh, maybe I might, like, do something different rather than this because it is quite big, um, and my mom doesn't know, but that's okay, <laughs> um, because I want to try to take the responsibility because I might be getting a crested gecko, but I was also maybe be making a video. I might upload it. Maybe I'll upload it tomorrow again because it sometimes takes some time to upload, but um, I'm, I'll be showing you what I'm going to be getting to upgrade Gex's enclosure and maybe stepbrother you never know <laughs> if it is or his friend but yeah um that's pretty much all guys and let's get to the time lapse so um we are starting right now um this is the voiceover oh <laughs> sorry about the noise um but right now i'm just busy taking the old cloth out and busy i'm um, going to be putting in a new one with a little bit of um water just also on the side just for extra um humidity a bit of spray here and there for a bit more humidity and then i have this plant with this little suction cup um, add these soft leaves when he does hatch, um, just so it's nice and warm for him. A temperature gauge, which will be going on top. This plastic, um, thing has, like, holes in it and everything, so it will be perfect, um, if he ever does hatch. So I'm just putting that in there now, just to see how it would look. 
Now I just uh, decided rather just to put a rock in there. It just looks maybe when he does hatch a bit more natural. And then afterwards I put it in there. Now I realized the embryo. Um, I actually had to turn it on the other side around, which I didn't do in the video, but don't worry guys, I did do it after this whole video was done. I did do it, because I did a tiny bit more research, so yeah, don't worry. That is the oh, enclosure for the um, baby gecko egg. But yeah, I'll, keep you, I'll, I'll try to keep you updated, maybe like, I don't know, like they only hatch after 35 days or something like that, 35 to 89 days or something like that. Um, but yeah, I really, really do hope that there might be something, uh, might, and it's fertile. Um, if it isn't, then uh, it kind of will, it will really suck. But I really, really do hope it is, and then Gecko Gex can have a friend. But I'm still busy searching for another one for Gex, so then maybe they can have because Gex is a girl, um, Gexy, um, short for Gex. But then um, they can mate and then do their business and then lay some eggs, and then we can have Gex um, eggs. But yeah, and it's pretty much all for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry that it was so short. Um, there's not really much to it. It's just that but yeah that's what we that's what we done and i'll keep you updated guys bye